Today, we're going to try Maya, but if I can't farm fast on Maya, or if my game crashes because, what is the chain reaction, then we'll jump back on zero. But we're going to try Maya today. Here's the build. And of course, Navar. In that chat. Let's farm. It's shaman time. That's right, I said it. Do you need the B shield for this? Or no, I kind of forget. So we pick up a random enemy. We shoot the bunker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, we're, we're good. Do I need the B shield? Okay, I'm putting on the B shield. <laughs> I thought that might not have been like a huge deal, but no, that almost crashed the game first try. Hmm, not very fast, huh? Oops. Come on, give us a first try, Sham. You know you want to. You don't have to, but I would appreciate it if you wouldn't. I think all of us would. First run for today is going to be a... Uh, wait! Is that Slag? Dude, Slag Social Fatale. Really, really cool. First try, we already have that. That's a good start today. Kind of happy about that. Have you ever seen a slag one yet? Or is that our first one? Anyone know? Not sure. Our comment from YouTube for today is from Drew Holman. Idea. Why go off the majority of the head mass to determine the point value of it when you can look at the... Or go off the loot beam? You know, I never really thought about that, but... What if the loot beam falls in the middle too? You know? Yeah, that is a better point. So we can go by the loot beam instead for determining the point value. I think we'll do that. Okay, it looks like a good cycle. We got a bot right here. All right, here we go. Not bad. Chat, this is gonna crash my game. <laughs> I'm calling it now. Oh, no back to back. Oh well. Oh no. There's no enemies nearby. Maya farm's so slow. I'm gonna lose so many farms today. Yeah, I don't know. Should we go back to zero? Like, as much as I want to farm on Maya, she's just very, very slow. I think our only options are really going to be, like, Zero and Salvador. Yeah, I could try the Sandhawk. How's Accident for farming? Uh, pretty much same as Maya. Spam Sandhawk and hope for the best. Chat, this is still slow. Alright, we're going back to Zero, yeah. We'll do one more kill, though, since we're here. Man, I was really hoping to be faster. Pretty much every 94 sham that's ever been farmed ever by anybody is always on Zero and Boar. This dude, it's so efficient, but... It would be really cool to farm it on somebody else. I've thought about all possibilities. It's got to be Salvador or it's got to be Zero. We don't have a choice. If you want to speed farm. Like, yes, all the other characters do have ways to do good damage in a certain form or fashion. But one, it takes time. Or two, it's unreliable. So we can't do that. We could have had like 10 farms in right now. And we're only on our, what, third farm? All right, back to Zero. We got a speed farm chat. I give it a try. Yo, we fast again, bro. Yo, look at that. We're done. That easy. Bunker. Bunker, bro. Another splash of last Bruh. Holy crap. <laughs> I think my ears fell off. Look at that. We already got a farm done in no time at all. Bunk. I can't do any higher. Bunk. There you go. That's my highest pitch. Did you miss the bunker? No, bunker misses you. Here, put it this way. We can get a sham so much faster from the grinder. Like read only farming compared to bunker farming. Like bunker, it takes an average of 30 kills to get one sham. For grinder farming, I can get, like, probably 10 champs by the time I get one from Bunker. The champ's not a great shield. I mean, it's okay, but it's not great. But it just became iconic for some odd reason. I think the main reason why the champ farm became so popular is because Zero can board. And insta-kill him, you know? Why don't people, like, farm the perfect B shield or the perfect Norfleet or stuff like that? The most iconic farm in this game is the 94 sham, I think. When you see people run builds and stuff, endgame and stuff, nobody's running sham, you know? Like, why the sham? It's just kind of funny to think about. It just exploded in popularity. Oh, that's a sham. All right, all right. Not too far into the runs today. That is a Hyperion Hyperion TDR. Uh, seven grade. Guess a chat. What is our percentage? You guys are all really, really close. Yeah. A uh, few people got it. Yep. 85 sham. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful. I can't pick it up though. That is our most common sham, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Dude, that is our 12th. 85 sham yeah last night i had a creative thought i was laying in bed and then i had to get out of bed to like type this tweet bro you know people keep talking about the bl2 remastered and most of the complaints about the bl2 are uvhm related right you have enemies with high health uh they have health regen the scaling sucks so items drop off people don't like op levels slagging all that kind of stuff 99 percent of the hate for bl2 is uvhm related so what if if we got a BL2 remastered, they just capped it out at TBHM. 
Like you do normal mode, then TBHM. Cap you at like level 50 or maybe 61. Then everything would work, you know? And on top of that, I was thinking about this too. What if we had OP levels for TBHM? So level 50, OP1, level 50, OP2, all the way up to OP8. Or heck, maybe even cap out at like OP5. And on top of that, what if per OP level you do, you get a skill point. So you cap out at like 50, right? You do the peak. You get one skill point per run you do. So up to eight skill points for doing the peak. So you have that incentive, you know? Yeah, because like a lot of people want a rebalance of UVHM, like rebalance all the gear in the game, adjust all the health values, all this kind of stuff. Bro, that is so much work. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't trust Gearbox to get that done in, in one fluent sweep. Because if you look at like, you know, the Tina one-shot adventure or heck, even the BL1 enhanced, we only got one patch for the game and that was it, like when the game came out. So it's a one and done thing. It would probably be for the BL2 remastered if it actually happened, I think. So I think the easiest option is just capping out at TBHM level 50 and then adding OP levels and pearls once you uh, beat the main story. I don't know. If we had 80 skill points or what is it? 76 skill points in TBHM, you would be brokenly OP. Like you'd be crushing all the content. That's way too many skill points to have. So if you think about it, you really want to work towards doing the peak for those extra skill points to get your double capstone. And keep in mind, if we're capping out at TVHM and not UVHM, then a lot of items will work. Oh, another sham. What do we got, bro? All right, TDR, Hyperion, and Vladoff. That is a poor grade. 82, 82, 82, 82, 82. Yeah, you guys got it. That is an 82 sham. Man, you guys are smart. You guys are getting better at the sham guessing. Good job. Watch out, head drops. I'm coming for you, bro. I'm out for blood. That is our fourth 82 sham. Not very common. Huh. Go back to back? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got a back to back. Let's see. How many points? Oh, it almost fell out. Look at that. No doubt that is a 10 point head drop. And yeah, if we're going to be going by the beam now, that means that, uh, yeah, it's in 10 point range. 83. Hop it up. There we go. Are you kidding me? Bruh. All right, 10 more points. 10 more points. I'm not saying much more than that. That's all you get, head drop. I mean, at least we're getting loot, right? That's a little bit chaotic, I will say. You saw that, right? He legit stopped by, waited for some loot, and then took off when the sham didn't happen. Mm-hmm. That was clean. Nice short bore. Dead bunker. Bunker, you need to give me a wall drop too today. Why does Bandit get giant blades on pistols? but they do the same melee damage as a normal blade. Ooh! Yo, you're right, chat. Yeah, look at that. Ryan at 2,139. 139, my number. What does that number mean? Nothing, I just put that on my name for no reason. <laughs> it doesn't have a meaning, all right? And I thought about removing it, just call myself, you know, Jolt Stu for my channel, but it doesn't seem right. Like the 139 is part of my personality now. Come on, it's my lucky run. Oh. <sighs> 150 25 that's right head drop everybody's favorite 85 head drops why dude we're 15 away from 100 head drops uh beautiful back to back wait is that a wall drop no it's a fatale it looked weird for a second the stock on it kind of threw me off Ooh. dude double back to backs today by the way i want to point that out it is a no elemental fatale. Cool. But Tito regret. Not cool. But it has stall stock. Cool. 68. Boom. Yo, can we get those to 69 today? That is the question. Oh. Oh, it's a Hyperion grip though. Oh no. And it's trick shot. Ew. No. Why would you want bouncy bullets? Doesn't count for the wall drop counter. Only for the bunker. Bunk bunk. Come on, bunker. I'm knifing the air. Look. He likes that. Alright. I see a off part, so not 94. Uh, TD War, Malawan, and Blight off. That is a 9 grade gem. Guess the chat. You guys got it. 86. Boom. Thank you. 7th 86 sham, by the way. So, pretty low roll on that one, too. Keep it going. We ain't done yet. Hey! Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Oh! It finally happened. We got a wall drop, dude. It's been a, quite a few days, actually. Okay, hold on. That was a madhouse, I think? 
Dude, wall drop Corrosive Madhouse. Look at that. I think it deserves to be boar worthy. Oh, I need that though. Hold on. We'll do one with it. One. Wool drops. We can finally up it to 31. It's been so long. Hold on. Let me try to mob with it real fast. All right. <laughs> uh, even with Slag and Kunai, it still suffers. There we go. Dude, Madhouse OP. Holy crap. We just one-shot the bunker. That's insane. Best gun. Solo all content. Mayhem 11. Cool. Oh, that's a sham. Not a 94 though, sadly. But chat, Hyperion, TDR, TDR, that is a five grade. Guess away. That is an 83 sham, guys. You guys were close. Very, very close. 83, not bad. What can I upgrade? I'm not getting rid of my triple doll or even my doll doll blad off. I want to keep that. That is our fifth 83 sham. We're getting a lot of shams that we don't get too often. Kind of weird. So maybe the 94, the other one we don't get too often. <laughs> Now we can go for the percentage of the sham on the same sham amount. For example, we have 77 shams. If we, if we get like another sham, that would be our 78th sham, but will it also be on top of that a 78th sham? Or we get our 79th sham and try to get a 79th sham. Dude, we could do that all the way up until 94 if you think about it. Heck, maybe a 94th sham will be 94. I feel lucky about that. Jericho. Uh, Spitter. Gotta know those barrels in the weapon type. I shouldn't drink water at this time, but I'm going to do it. Hmm. <coughs> oh, it went down the wrong pipe. Okay, I'm good. Ah, dude, we would get a drop when I'm trying to drink water. Okay, I've recovered. <coughs> Anyways, we got a head drop. That is 10 points. Yay. <laughs> All right, save quit. Whatever. Water is something you need to survive, right? And it's also something that can kill you. Too much of it can. Yeah, fix it by drinking more water. You gotta clean out the water stuck in your throat by drinking more water. Don't you know? Three, two, one, and... Is it fire? We actually got a fire one. Dude, I told you, the power of the ant, man. Just like that. Bro, we gotta bore with that now. Get out of here, Madhouse. You wish you were good. Dude, that's 69, by the way, of those two. What was the grip on it? Even bandit grip, not bad. Yo, can we get 70 of those today? Like, that's the only drop that's not in the 70s yet. Or hasn't hit the 70s. Oh, we got it. That was fast. Nice. There you go. Oh! Uh, that's got a doll part. Is it another triple doll? I highly doubt it. But yo, what if we get another triple doll? Dude, double doll Vlad off. Wow. Okay, we know that. 77. Wow. Oh, no, it ruined it. That's our 78th sham, and it's a 77 sham. Dang it. We got to match the sham number and the sham percentage. So close. But another 77 sham. That's kind of funny. That is our fifth 77 sham, in which one of them was a triple doll. So only our fourth uh, double doll flat off one then. Dude, five shams, one stream, not bad. Can we get one more for today? I know we're asking for a lot, but like, what if? Yo, is it fire? We've had slag and a uh, fire today, right? No element. Cutting edge fatale. Yo, look at that. It made it to the 70s. The new milestone. Thank you, game. Back to back? Bro. Another fire. Dude, two in one stream. It is fire. Right there. Look at it. Dude, back to back. Can we get three in a row? Maybe? Three in a row? Oh, not three in a row. Bummer. Four. Mm, oh, a final sham for today, guys. Look at that. That's why you don't give up. Oh, no. Chat, it's one part off again. Man, at least we end on a good sham, right? Hyperion, Tidor, Malawan. 12 grade sham guys guess away 89 91 89 yeah there you go you're getting closer that is an 89 sham where'd it go up I, I, oh, there it is yeah 89 sham not bad dude if that bottom piece was just the mount one it would have been the one just for the heck of it let's try to go for one more and see if we get that back to back because dude we've had three back to backs today 
Oh, no back to back. All right, we got a little too greedy there, but you know what? Still a good way to end the stream. We got quite a few shams today. I'm happy about that. Before we end the video, I just want to let you guys know that I do stream this on Twitch. You can catch them live from Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. CST. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I also hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.